This video is sponsored by Stormforce PCs, which are a UK specialised supplier that provide the best and highest spec PCs you can dream of, especially for those who are looking for a top-end flight simulator rig. In fact, every single video on this channel is powered by a Stormforce computer and for very good reason with their competitive three-year warranty and their excellent build quality superb customer service generally this is the only PC manufacturer that I trust so check out the link in the description below for a very nice discount on your dream PC hello folks we're back again but this time it's a VR comparison on the left is MSFS 2024 on the right 2020 the exact same location weather and in terms of the settings I appreciate it is a different sim but I've tried to match it the best I can and as you can see here this is the first test using TAA mode but here's the thing I'm using DirectX 11 in MSFS 2020 and notice how the frame rate is actually better. This is something that I've been moaning about for quite some time and I think this is a great way to really showcase that there is definitely a difference in performance up to about 10 frames per second. Now I'm going to do this same test again in a moment with DirectX 12 which is what MSFS 2024 is now running all the time. So I'll just leave you with the rest of these comparison shots and I'll see you again Back at Nice in a few moments' time. Alright then, welcome back again. So this time, we're both using DirectX 12. And notice that the frame rate is a lot closer. Only by about 4 frames per second. And of course, remember there's so much variables here. Because this is a new sim, and there's going to be some more graphical options. But as I say, I've tried to get the VR settings as close as possible. And I think this frame rate shows you that I've got it pretty damn close indeed. We're using the Pimax Crystal here at full native resolution, which is a PC breaker. But this is a stress test using a 3900K with an RTX 4090. Right then, I'll just leave you with the rest of these shots. And then we're going to try DLSS. So, welcome back once again at Nice Airport in the A320. This time we are using DLSS set to balanced. And as you can see, the performance at this point is very, very close indeed. It's just a real shame that DLSS hasn't really moved on when it comes to VR. Because, in my opinion, it's just not feasible to run it especially when you're trying to fly a very complex aircraft such as this. The cockpit gauges and clarity just suffers too much, in my opinion. However, if you're just sightseeing, then actually it's not too bad. And I would recommend you use DLSS when flying VFR, when you're just close to the ground and enjoying that beautiful scenery. But look at this. Interestingly, I still feel that MSFS 2020 is leaping ahead a little bit here but then I would expect it to because it isn't a brand new platform pushing the boundaries of what is possible with PC technology. So this is the proper PC breaker test now. London City and for this test I am using ultra settings in VR with full native resolution in the Pimax Crystal. First of all, we are using DLSS once again set to balanced and you're definitely going to need it here. I think overall, as you can see from the performance, that it is quite similar and there is quite a bit of stutters from both systems here. But keep in mind, this is ultra settings, including level of detail set to 400. This is just crazy settings and I would not recommend doing this at all. This is just a stress test for this purpose. 
Also, on a side note, I've noticed that my GPU utilization is not always at 100%, which I find quite interesting. Anyway, we're now going to do something a bit crazy. This is now ultra settings in both sims using the full resolution of the Pimax Crystal and we are in TAA mode. This is the kind of frame rate I would not recommend doing in VR unless you are an experienced VR user like myself because otherwise you will experience nausea. But for someone like me who's a bit hardened, this actually wasn't too bad funny enough but having said that for most people this is going to be absolutely awful. But look at this, the FPS are almost identical which makes me pleased because that means I definitely have got my settings pretty much spot on with both sims to make this test as comparable as possible. This is not meant to be scientific at all but I do think we can draw some interesting conclusions here. But remember, at the end of the day this is just for fun. Here we are now just to finish ultra settings with the real world weather. Now just on a more positive note as well, I have noticed this last day or two that the servers seem to be getting better and I'm able to sort of do these tests and go to different airports without too much bother. So I'm hoping things are now improving. Please let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this VR comparison and how is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 behaving for you? But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'm now going to get some really good VR settings dialed in for you guys. Using three to four different PC systems, expect that video on the channel in the next week or so. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Take care.